Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and this reading is to dive into seeing how uh, the transition is going to go for Donald John Trump. So this will be uh, for, from today, which is the 8th, so from November 8th through January 20th, 2021. How's it going to go for him? What's he going to do? What's he planning? How's it going to be? Okay, so forces in motion, his challenges, what he's planning, what he's doing about it. You know, you can plan one thing and then end up doing another, so we'll see. Uh, the karma that's hanging over. His future and his outcome. Okay, and then with the tarot, we have, let's see, forces in motion, his challenges, what he's planning, what he'll actually be doing, the karma that's hanging over him, his future, and the most likely, well, the outcome. Because no matter what, his time's up January 20th, 2021. So this, will, this reading will show us how peaceful it'll be or not. Okay, so, the forces in motion, the situation for him, sun in Aries, brand new beginning, uh, new start. Uh, you know, with the, with the three of wands following the two of wands, with the two of wands, you have definitely, you know, you're on an adventure and you're deciding that you want to go somewhere new. Well, by the time you get to the three of wands, uh, there's more, like, foresight involved and because you can see he's like looking out over the water and it's usually people see this as like looking looking for your ship to come in and you know with this with this deck they they should have made this blue water here but instead they went all gold and whatever but just know that these are little ships out here in the water and this card is known for saying like you're waiting for your ships to come in well he doesn't have any more ships coming in unless he's thinking of going to a foreign place. So that could be what's going on. His challenge is, with the Queen of Cups, is that the in the USA, we, <laughs> we wanted somebody different, and this is Kamala Harris. So she's keeping an eye on him. She's coming after him. Uh, him and Bill Barr and Brett Kavanaugh. She's she's her her plans are laid out um, for for coming after those guys. She set that in force a long time ago. So that's his challenge. This could also be Letitia James. That's very possible. It's a powerful woman who cares about the United States of America and for what is right and for what you know is sacred. So that's his biggest challenge. Interesting. Okay, uh, what he's planning? Hmm. He's not planning on going anywhere. He's planning on staying there as long as he possibly can. Uh, you know, moon and cancer, is, that's cardinal energy that moves forward, but it's reversed, so it's, it's, not, it's not moving. He's planning on not moving. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll see how that goes, dude. My goodness. Um, well, it's it's like the, a misuse of will. When, when you have the chariot reversed, you know, straight up, it can be your divine will, but you want to make sure you don't go too fast. It, it's a card of, you know, traveling as well. But when it's reversed, it shows that, that you know, there's a lack of control. And it also shows that he's very moody. You know, he's not planning in, in the right way. And and also, when it's reversed, this is like no self responsibility. So he's he's just yeah. We'll see how this goes. What he's doing? He's lying. 
Oh, I have to show you something with this card straight up. Lisette, I love Lisette. She comments, you know, most often, you know, especially when she can, but it, of course, you know, we, nobody can comment every single video, but she l showed me, look at this, look at this F right here. And it, it doesn't that look like, I mean, it's supposed to be some trees that are blowing in the wind, but this, this looks like, or, it, or if it's not a tree way in the background, it's some kind of like, you know, grassland, uh, some bushes that are blowing really hard. And, you know, the, everything's blowing that way. So you can, read, you can read this card directionally, you know, that way. But look how, her point was, to, doesn't that look like Facebook symbol in there? Right? I mean, and wasn't Facebook one of the biggest vehicles for spreading all his lies? I mean, they gave him ads cheaper than they gave Joe Biden. Mark Zuckerberg is an asshole. Facebook reversed. So I don't know what, what he's doing there with Facebook anymore, but I, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, so, so anyway, on, on the level of what a person's doing when we get the Page of Swords reversed, this is a card of illness. And it's also one of those like all talk and no action cards. And, and you know, if, if you get the Page of Swords reversed for somebody, you know, comes through like this and you're wondering if they'll keep their promises, the answer is no. They will not. Major lies. So he's going to lie and do everything he can to hunker down, stay where he is, but let's see if that works well for him. Because the karma that's hanging over him is that he will not have his wishes fulfilled. Jupiter and Pisces with the Nine of Cups. I'm sorry, yeah, Nine of Cups. I almost wanted to say uh, Eight of Cups, but Nine of Cups has to do with uh, bliss that expands and expands and expands. Uh, no one is reversed. And I don't know that he's capable of experiencing bliss because, you know, his heart isn't open. His future <laughs> with the Fool. <gasps> with the Fool reversed, well, I mean, even if it were straight up, you could say his future is he's going to be really foolish and take take a lot of risks, but um, when it comes in reversed, it's reckless. He's just completely reckless, and he will, you know, he will take a, the risk in the most foolish of ways. So I think we can expect him to do whatever, whatever he, um, whatever he can. We can't put anything past this guy. And um, the outcome with the King of Pentacles being his outcome, that has something to do with who is this? Because it's I don't get that it's him this time. Well, let me layer the later on and see if we get more clues because I'm not sure who this is. If it is him, you know, this is him just trying to be really secure and control himself, you know, control, have his power and control and abundance. And it can be a disciplined card because it's, it's Capricorn, but uh, it feels like it's more of like money talks. And these cards have the element of trying to get away to a foreign land. Interesting. Because this could be, you know, like Erdogan or Mohammed bin Salman, and, you know, the MBS dude. I don't even know how to pronounce his last name, and I don't care. So please don't anybody comment and tell me how to say his name, because I don't care. <laughs> He's... A brutal dictator is who he is. That's all I need to know. So, okay, let's just let, let me let me layer the lander on and see what happens. Okay, so forces in motion. This is his karma. This is his health. This is also him. You know, like trees, how they suck up all the energy around them. You know, all the water, big trees. You know, they they. Well, you don't necessarily want to plant a lot of little flowers underneath the tree because they won't get the the water they need unless you have unless you water them every day which necessarily is not so good for a tree but 
just to know that trees, they have a taproot and they suck up everything that's, that's around. So that's what he does. He's the energy vampire. That makes sense. A health card, and then this is here's an illness card. So I just did a reading for his um, Tuesday, and the illness cards came up again. And so, but I, you know, I stopped doing health readings on him because it, it gets kind of boring after a while, right? I mean, who, we don't we don't need to go into that much detail every day. But this is this is health. This is illness. This is health illness. That's a challenge. Okay. Uh, what he's planning. What he's planning is just based on his emotions. But he's planning change. He's planning. Well, I think he's he's got emotional reaction. I think, based on um. Based on his perception of what other people think about him. Based on his, you know, reputation. Interesting. Okay. What he's doing with the clouds, he's not thinking clearly. So he's lying, like he always does. He lies, 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 and he's not thinking clearly. And the dark side of the cloud is, is facing his karma. So, whoo, okay. And his karma is, is that he's done. His job is, he's done. He's not getting what he wants. He's not the, you know, smug merchant anymore. He's done. His job is over. So he's out on January 20th, no matter what. His future is, yeah, these are both travel cards. He's leaving. He's leaving the White House. His outcome, though, is he does have somebody loyal. Wow. Okay. So I have to draw some more cards. He, the dude has somebody that, uh, some supportive individual with money. Interesting. So now I'm wondering, like, well, let's see if I can get who. Who's, who's the loyal supporter? Let's look more at... If he even makes it. I mean, th these are illness cards here. It, mental illness, physical illness, death, it's all, you know, you're done. It, this is an ending of whatever it is. It could just be the ending of his job, but these are health cards here. This could have to do again with the coronavirus. So maybe, maybe what's still coming down on him is lawsuits about the coronavirus. I don't know about that, honestly, if that could actually happen. But maybe. I mean, I, I have to be open to all possibilities. Okay, so let, let's see about the future. The future is him moving out, so that's clear. Uh, let's, let, let me, let me uh, take a little bit of a different tact here and say, and, and ask, I want cards to show whether his transition, whether his moving out will be peaceful or not. What's going to happen peaceful, or, you know, show me whether it's peace, peaceful or not. What's the quality of the transition? Well, there's a lot of talk. Could be, could be stressful, could be some anxiety. This is a battle. So his, his leaving, his leaving will be stressful to the White House, from the White House, and there's, and there's the battle. But he's not the boss anymore. With the bear coming in, that's, that's a strong authority. We voted him out. So legally, you know, he's done. He's done. He's done. <laughs> this is the cause and effect. He's, he's done. He's done sucking up all of our energy. 
Okay, so let's look at the outcome for, this is going to be just for him. The outcome for him. Yeah, it's a betrayal. And it's going to be widespread, public, online. Maybe they kind of seduce him out of the... This could be, oh goodness, across, across the land. So, so somebody who's very loyal, that has money, but will betray him. But that he might have like some goal to get there, to get out of the country, of course, because he doesn't want to end up in jail or incarcerated. He doesn't want to end up in prison. And this is a seduction. But this is the betrayal. Okay. So the outcome for him. Yeah, he, he's going to partner up with somebody. And then I think that he's being watched already about that. So does he does he get away? Well, he's going to spend a lot of money. But no, he's not going anywhere. He's not going to make it. That's the anchor is, you know, imagine how heavy an anchor is. You're you're sunk. Yeah, no, so he's not going anywhere, but he's he's going to fight. He, yeah, I, I get that he's going to fight. So there's that. Okay, so uh, let me move these aside and um, and use use this little deck quickly. Or not little, it's big. I, how is it going to be for us? How, how is it going to be for us witnessing this? And I'm especially speaking to this time period that, you know, the lame duck session in between. What, what can we expect during this lame duck session? Between now and uh, January 20th of next year. Wow, so we're going to witness something that will help us become more wise as to the way the government works, I believe, as to the laws in the Constitution. Yeah, just to surrender to, you know, going through this process because we definitely, you know, we're, we have to go through it so there's no reason to fight it. Yeah, but then take the lead in our own lives to go towards what it is that we want to create. And it's time to... <laughs> we got that card yesterday, I think. Uh, it's time to collaborate with each other. It's, it's time for us to all work together as one big team. Oh, and then time for a beginner mind. Well, that's interesting. So, so lots of new things. Maybe new creations? Okay, so now I have a different, a little bit of a different question that just popped into my head. I let let me bear with me for a moment while I shuffle these cards. The question is. I want to see the extent as to how protected we are or not while he is uh, hunkering down and trying to hold on. I guess maybe I just need to do some separate readings uh, on, uh, you know, are they going to try and steal things from the White House? What are they going to do? But you know what, Swansea, if we go to Swan Swansea Slice of Tarot, she already did a reading on that, so I would refer you there, because whatever she got, and I don't want to say the answer because I want you to watch the, the video. 
but it was about pilfering. So if you go to her channel and you just put in pilfering in the search, <laughs> little search box, you'll probably get that video to pop up. Okay, so, but I want to know how are Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, uh, how are they protecting this transition? How are we protected during this transition? How is it going to go for us? with the protections that are in place, with the Constitution and the new forces coming in. Wow. How do I get so many... Re okay. Well, this is interesting. All right. Well, that's okay. You have to read them like they come, right? So with the uh, Empress reversed... This has us in, in this realm of watching out for what we create. There's, there's a creative block here. You know, and this is the place where we are dependent upon the Constitution and the law that needs to come down. As we go through this time of the unknown with the Three of Wands reversed. You know, the Empress straight up is very creative. It's all about creating your own new reality or your own, you know, our, our reality as U.S. citizens. When the Three of Wands comes in, you're, kind of, you're like waiting for the new wave to come in. You have to be patient. You want to, you want to catch the right wave, right? Well, when it's reversed, I, that, that has us having to, it's a delay. There's a, an obstacle to the long-term plans, and we're, we're kind of stuck in that. So, so we're having to wait. I, uh, with the eight of cups reversed, this can have this can be walking away from self responsibility, but this can be walking away because you can't do it anymore and you've done all you can. When the eight of cups is reversed, there can be a little bit of hopelessness and kind of drifting, like a drifting time. But it's still you're still walking away no matter what. So we're walking away from him and we're walking away from, well, he's got to walk away because he's had the lack of, lack of self-responsibility. And I'm talking about Trump. But during this time, I think this is saying that we just have to be really patient and we have to get out of the, you know, the headspace of like winning at all costs. And we need to be, when, when the Five of Swords comes through, you know, you can see the mental conflict in the, like, the winner versus loser type of mentality, which is not the right way to go, <laughs> because it's not based in truth. We, we need to create win-win situations. When this comes in, when the Five of Swords comes through reversed, this has to do with, you know, us needing to be open to change and letting go of past resentments. Uh, but it's also this... One of the interesting cards or things about this card is that it's um, it it represents funerals sometimes. So I think it's about like kind of like burying burying the past, and um, we might be a little bit reclusive this this during this lame duck session, and that might be the smart thing to do because if there's rioting going on or people protesting, you know, from the Trump side, we don't want to be out in that. So this might be the, the message here is to protect ourselves. And then interestingly, we have the two of wands and the three of wands, and they're both, re both reversed. When it's up or upright, it's a new adventure and a new discovery. When it's, when it's reversed, uh, you know, there's the fear of the unknown, and there's a lack of planning. Um, so... I know Joe Biden and Kamala Harris already have plans put in place. They're already, um, they're already, they have a website already. You know, they're 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 already focusing on a coronavirus task force and all kinds of things to, to get going. But this is just during the lame duck session. So this tells me that these messages are for us. That we need to be patient. Don't fall prey to a lack of creativity in your own life. We need to think long term. Let's let's bring all these. Let's let's uh, we can do this. We can always put cards upright and look at the focus the focus of the direction that we should go in, which is 
create your own reality, of course. Don't, don't let your lack of creativity, uh, or don't be in an cre uncreative place just because you're waiting on the government to catch up. Take control of your own life and create what it is that you want. But be patient. Walk away from what doesn't work and try to create win-win situations in your life. And then keep looking for a new adventure. Keep looking for what, what, else you, what else it is that you want to create. But most of all, think long-term in your life. That's always the way to go. So, okay, well, that's all I have for this. I don't really know what else to layer in there. I think that we're in for a, a wild ride. And I think we need to just hold on to our... Um, hold on to ourselves in our peaceful place and to protect ourselves and protect our families and our loved ones and um, and just know that things have to play out. But no matter what, January 20th, 2021, he's gone. You can count on that because that's law. <laughs> he's gone. If he has to be taken out with, you know, by a military um, presence, uh, th then so be it. If that's what we have to witness, then uh, that that's might be what it is and that might be what that king of pentacles was and, and the uh, outcome over here maybe that is like the strong arm of the law that comes in you know control and you know security and it's like you know okay you're done we're gone that that may be the case so okay well this was an interesting reading for me <laughs> And, okay, I'll be back later with some more, to answer some more viewer questions. Okay, thanks, you guys. Take care.